Hey beauties! Today I'm going to be going in and touching up my roots. They are looking so grown out and I'm excited to get started. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content, all of which is always affordable. We are bougie, but on a budget around here. So if that's something you think you would enjoy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and let's get into to this bleach. <laughs> To do this, I'm actually gonna go in with this highlighting comb. I get this on Amazon. It's like seven bucks, but it basically does all your weaving for you using those. You have a thicker weave as well. I'm not even sure what this is for, but I do like to use the smaller side. On a lot of root touch up videos, I noticed that they only went halfway down their head, but I'm actually gonna go through my whole hair because my hair's a lot darker than the videos I was watching, and I am seeing a lot of darkness right in here and I definitely want to lighten that back up. So that is the game plan today. I will be using this Blonde Me Bleach. I got this as a set on Amazon. It's worth the extra money and it did come with a 30 volume developer which I will be using. I actually have already mixed one scoop of the bleach and one and a half of the developer. Have that right in here. I wish I had a table in front of me, but I'm like working on the bathtub behind me. Uh, where are my clips? Yeah, okay. What I'm gonna do is section my hair from bottom to top. So like right here at the nape of my neck, I'm gonna section that off. It's about a one inch wide section. And then I'm going to part my sections in half. Go ahead and put this little cape on. Just taking this comb, placing my hair on top and then running my hand through that a few times. It's going to separate your hair. Take the top and the bottom, push the bottom back, do this side as well. Top and bottom, push the bottom back. Taking another clip, I'm gonna clip back the hair that I am not highlighting so that I don't mix it in with the hair that I am highlighting. I need a hair tie. This clip is not working. I think I'm just gonna do my roots and blend them down like this much. We'll see how it turns out. So now I'm just gonna pick up some bleach on my hands and start blending. You wanna make sure that you blend at the root so you don't have any harsh lines and using your hands definitely helps smooth out any harsh lines. Okay, so just applying foil. I am not good at foil. It's like my least favorite part to do, honestly. Again, not a professional. Let's keep going. I'm just kind of trying to not blend all the way down, but I do want to just smooth out the bleach so that hopefully I don't get like too many splotchy parts. I've gotten to this section where it's a little bit more wide because it comes from here and goes to the middle of the back of my head. So what I'm going to do is actually split it in half because the smaller sections will be easier to work with. So taking this back section, I'm going to separate. Now I'm just going to bring this part back. 
And then we're gonna do this section. Let's tie this. This section. I did just look at what my hair is looking like underneath. I can already tell that it's going to be splotchy. You see that, how it's lightened? It's not blended all the way down. So what I'm gonna do is go back and blend some bleach all the way down. Listen guys, I am not a professional. I was trying to do it like someone who is professional would do it, but I just don't wanna take the chance of ruining my hair, so. That's why I checked my work before I rinsed out. Again, this is how I do my own hair. At home, I'm not a professional, so let's just start from the bottom and apply some bleach all the way down. I would definitely rather have damaged hair than splotchy hair because at least if it's damaged, I can just cut it off. But if it's splotchy, that's a whole nother mess of a story. We have reached the top section and I'm going to split it down the middle. Take these bangs here. I'm gonna do these last. And I'm just gonna braid it so that it's not in the way. Okay, so these are pretty thick sections. What I'm gonna do is split this in half.
So we have our top section. I'm gonna apply the bleach, but not as high as I was doing it down here, just because I am doing money pieces and I want these to stand out more than I want this to stand out. So I'm just gonna blend it a little bit lower. That way when I go higher here, it's more dramatic, if that makes sense. So let me get my gloves on. And so I'm gonna start right here. Just kind of blend up and down, smooth all the way out. I do have these gloves on from Amazon. They're like textured, so they do help me spread out the bleach a little better. I've used these three times now. This is my third time using the same pair of gloves, so definitely worth the investment of like $7. This is the part that I'm the most nervous about. What I did is create my part. My part's not like dead center to my face, but it is kind of off center because I have this like weird cowlick. But anyway, so just part your hair where you normally part it. Oh, I got a hair in my eye. And when you go to do the sectioning, you want to kind of do it at an angle. I'm again going to highlight the top one. And we'll just pull that back somehow. Just make sure that your sections are not all crazy looking. You want them to kind of be even from the top and the bottom, especially right here, because I've separated it several times and sometimes there's just like Let's just push this part back and apply highlight here. Cross your fingers for my bangs. Let's do a timer of 40 minutes starting now. This is what my hair looks like after 40 minutes. I do still have it pinned in the back. So I'm gonna shower and rinse off with purple shampoo and purple conditioner. It's definitely looking a little orange. So I'm gonna take this brush and apply some of this on there and just spread it out with the brush. I'm just doing this mostly because this stuff really does like stain my hand. There is blue in there. I think I'm just gonna leave for five minutes and rinse out just because I don't want any blonde parts to like turn green. So yeah, we'll set a five minute timer, rinse it out. It's quite a bit later. My lighting might look a little different. This is what it's looking like now. I'm really not mad at it. It could probably use another 10, 15 minutes of the blue up here, which I am gonna do, but I was looking at it and I really want these front pieces just to be a little bit brighter up at the top. I don't mind that this isn't as bright because I do want the money pieces and the way that I did it, it just didn't come out that way. Now for this, I am actually gonna use the brush.
all done with my bangs. I'm probably gonna leave for about 20 minutes. And then once the front of my hair is wet, I'll go ahead and get the top wet and then reapply that blue toner. So this is the next morning. I rolled out of bed and decided that I did not like the tone at all of my hair from my roots to my ends. So I decided to go in with this Wella T27 toner. The color is called Medium Beige Blonde. I mixed it with the same 30 volume developer, applied it to all of my hair and let it sit for about 30 minutes-ish. So that's what I'm doing here. Here are my results. I still need to style it. I just did a quick blowout so you guys could see what it looked like straight and what the blend looks like and stuff. I probably could use some more toner right in here, which I do still have that blue hair mask and I will uh, probably do it again the next time that I shower. But I'm also kind of thinking that it might be too light I don't know. I'm just not used to it yet. So I haven't decided if I'm going to tone it again or if I'm going to go back in with a light brown color wash just to give me more brunette back to my hair. I will keep you guys posted on Instagram if I decide to change it. I do want to mention this Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. You guys, this saved my hair. It feels so soft and healthy like even healthier than before I started bleaching. So definitely recommend this. All right, so this is what it looks like after I styled it. Honestly, I'm really liking it now. Yeah, so I'll probably go back in with that toner. This is the one that I use, the Matrix Total Results Brass Off. I will be sure and link everything that I used in this video down in the description box below, as well as my hair playlist. I have videos using a highlighting cap, botched highlights and how I fix them, curling tutorials and all of that. So be sure and check that playlist out as well. There's a subscribe button right here. Go ahead and click that if you enjoyed this video. I will also leave two other videos for you to binge watch. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. Again, I am not a professional. This is just what I do on my own hair at home. If you decide to do this, definitely do your research. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.